Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and I have a really important video for you here and this video is going to be about how to check and see if your Yahoo account has been hacked. The reason I'm doing this video is because there have been a flurry of Yahoo accounts that have been hacked in the last two months. If you want to read more about that, go ahead and check out the link I'm posting in the description. I've got a whole article that I'm writing regarding this issue. Uh, but even before reading that, if you think your account has maybe been hacked, you definitely want to check this out. It's going to show you how you can tell, and then I'm also going to give you the recommendations of what you should do if you think your account has been hacked. So I hope it helps, and enjoy. Okay, so here I am on yahoo.com, and as you can see up here at the top right, I am logged into my Yahoo account. So if you think your account has been hacked, a lot of times some of your contacts that you email back and forth with might say, hey, I received some really weird emails from you. Did you send them? And if you didn't send them, chances are you've been hacked. So here's what you want to do uh, when you think it might have happened. And to be honest, right now, with all these hacks that have been going on, if you own a Yahoo account or if you use a Yahoo account, I would check anyways. I don't actually use Yahoo. I have accounts, but I use Gmail. Um, but if you have a Yahoo account and you use it, I would check. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go up to where your name is. It might say hi, whatever your name is. Mouse over that and then go ahead and click on account settings. I might ask you to enter a password or something like that. Um, it's going to take you to all of your settings here. And then um, what you want to do is you want to get to this. Uh, if you click on the drop down on the top left here, I have this option to get to account info. You might have been on a page where you can access account info right away. Uh, but there is a difference between account settings and account info. So we want to access the actual account info. I can click on this drop down or I could also click on this section here at the top left. And like I said, it's going to ask you for your password, so go ahead and enter that. And you're going to get to this screen. okay? And this is really important uh, because this is where you can check and see where your account has been accessed from. So what we're going to do is down here under Sign In and Security, you'll see that there is this section for Recent Sign-In Activity. If you click on that, it is going to show you everywhere that your account has been accessed usually in the last month. Now you can see I'm just logging into my account today because I don't use this account and I'm logging in from Florida in the United States. I recently had a client whose Yahoo account was hacked and they had their location listed up here you know 20 times and then all of a sudden there was one time where their account was accessed from Brazil. And I've seen recently accounts have been hacked from all over the world, the United Kingdom, even sometimes the USA, a lot of African countries, a lot of South American countries, Colombia was one of them that I saw, and this is just happening a lot. So if your account has been hacked, you should see a login from a weird place over here, a place that you do not live in that you haven't been. And when that happens, number one, first thing you need to do is change your password. You can see down here, Yahoo gives you some recommendations of what you should do, and you'll see that they say, number one, change your password. So you're going to change your password to your Yahoo account first, and then you're going to change your password to any other account, no matter what it is. If it's the same as this Yahoo password, change it for your email. Change it for all your bank accounts. In fact, I think you should change your bank account passwords anyways. If your email has been compromised, you don't want to take the risk that your financial situation is compromised as well. So change your password to all your accounts. I know it's a pain, but it's definitely going to save you some hassle in the long, long run if you can do this before those hackers really get in and get what they're looking for. So change your passwords. Also, go ahead and create this Yahoo sign-in seal. What that's going to do is it's going to make it so that every time you log into Yahoo, you're going to have this personalized icon that you're going to see when you enter your password. So if you get to a site that is trying to emulate the Yahoo login and they've got everything the same, the one thing they won't have is your sign-in seal. So you'll see a different image there and that'll be your red flag and say, oh, that's not the image I chose. This isn't real. I'm going to get out of here. Okay. And then you can also look at their customer care section. It's kind of an FAQ, and that just gives you further help on, on stuff like that. Uh, but definitely change your password first thing. Change any similar passwords or any passwords that might be in an email in your Yahoo account. And then monitor all of your accounts, all your emails, all your banking accounts, everything very, very closely. Uh, this is an exploit. Uh, if you read the article linked in the description, you'll hear more about it. But it's an exploit that's been around for a couple months. Yahoo continuously says that it's fixed. 
and it's not. I've heard of people getting hacked as late as now. It's March 4th, 2013. This started in the beginning of January, end of December 2012, beginning of January 2013. Yahoo said it was fixed right away. It hasn't been fixed. People are still getting hacked. This is how you can tell and definitely change your passwords. This is really, really important. I hope it helps. If you've had a similar experience or situation, please let us know in the comments section below so that we can gain a better idea of how widespread this is, who it's affecting, and more details about the situation. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.